Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and today's video is going to be a very interesting one because yesterday was September 1st of 2021, also known as the Day Off Twitch or the Twitch Blackout. And in case you guys don't know what that is, what it was is that a lot of different creators out on Twitch decided to not live stream on September 1st in protest of the different hate raids going on in the actual site itself. So a Hate raid, if you guys don't know, basically what a raid is, from at least my point of view, I've always thought as a raid as someone else, basically another live streamer, going to raid your live stream and basically live stream your live stream on their live stream, and they're able to actually get a lot of their viewers to watch your live stream. And that's basically what a raid is. It's always been like something positive, you know. It's been able to, I guess, help out smaller creators out there, smaller streamers, and it's it's pretty much a good thing, you know. I, it was a really good idea that people started do a long time ago and I'm glad people are still doing it to this day however a hate raid what it is it's mostly a bunch of bots just going into someone's stream and spamming in a bunch of negative and racial and sexist slurs just repeatedly and constantly in the chat and of course these are bots doing it not all of it's going to be real people most of it is bots and it's just this constant spam of just hateful messages being sent out to these certain creators is mostly black minorities and even women out there and so it's crazy to think that something like this has happened I myself do not use twitch it's something that I've always been really curious about and something that I've been wanting to do like live stream on it and of course watch other streamers however due to really crappy internet I can't even watch a live stream without it having to buffer every single minute and of course with that crappy internet I can't live stream myself so I just never really bothered going to twitch because it's just wasn't my place to use just because of how limited my internet was but anyway this is very interesting to me because you know we you always see people go out there on the internet and just spam messages and chats and just being a complete a-hole and of course with that being said the streamer themselves can of course just ban that person's account from ever watching any of their content uh, however this is a lot worse because this is bots these are a bunch of bots just going in and just raiding doing hate raids essentially onto these streamers and and it can be super annoying, not to mention these minorities, these particular streamers have probably dealt with things like this in real life. And of course, I believe that streaming is a real way to actually help cope with themselves and be able to get away with that real life uh, negativity. And of course, that negativity is just being brought back with them on the internet through bots, which is insane to me. I can't believe there's actual people out there who literally create bots just to go to hate, just to make hate raids into people's lives streams on Twitch? Why? Like, what do you gain from this? Is this what you guys want? You guys want us to actually talk about it? And that just gives you this publicity, even though your name isn't even being thrown completely out there? Like, grow the fuck up. Like, why would you ever do something like this? Such a waste of your fucking time. Like, holy crap. It is insane, you guys. I can't believe there's people out there, out there who actually create these bots just to do hate raids. It's insane to me. I just don't get it. Like, do you guys not have anything else better to do with your time? I, I I don't know. I just I just don't get it. It just makes no sense at all. Not to mention they're just spreading negativity. They're just being complete dicks, and that's just who they are. Like imagine who they are in real life. They're probably this is some bum in real life, and I can and I could probably eat, easily beat the shit out of them. Honestly, it's pretty upsetting if I'm being completely honest with you. And I'm not even a streamer. I don't even use Twitch, and it's just frustrating hearing about this. Uh, I guess today today is September 1st, but I'm uploading this on the second. And so yeah, I just cannot believe that something like this is even happening. But the good news is people are protesting they're really showing uh their their protest by not even streaming on twitch and of course there are people who do have partnerships with twitch and they're kind of required to stream because they don't want to lose that partnership they have with twitch or whatever the case may be which i guess is fine i'm, I'm really curious how many people actually did stop streaming t today uh, if i'm being completely honest with you I, I like i said i don't use twitch so it's really hard for me to actually recognize how many people didn't stream at all uh but one thing that i found very interesting and this is just a huge rub in the face the, the Twitch and Twitch by the way did actually respond to this issue but of course it's a little too late for that I'm not really sure how long these hate raids have been going on but clearly uh, Twitch like it's kind of ridiculous how now there's a protest Twitch finally says something it's pretty dumb if I'm being completely honest with you but anyway one thing that I find really funny is that on September 1st the day of the off uh, the day off Twitch or the Twitch blackout Tim the Tatman has announced that he is going to be partnered with YouTube 
YouTube Gaming, and he'll be streaming over on there instead of Twitch. That is a huge slap in the face for freaking Twitch. Like, holy smokes, YouTube Gaming has not been really that popular, if I'm being completely honest with you, although they did add some features recently that I think has made it a lot better. Uh, however, Tim the Tatman is a very popular streamer. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is, and he's one of those guys, of course, who plays like Warzone and Apex Legends. Yeah, him, even Dr. Lupo has moved to YouTube Gaming, which is also a huge streamer, and I get, and I believe, uh, what's his, oh, what's his name, Cloaksy, Cloaksy, who also plays with Tim the Tatman, has also moved over to YouTube Gaming, so Twitch has really took a dent in its platform since this happened. Not only do they have these hate raid situations going on, but now they have some of these big streamers moving over to YouTube Gaming. YouTube's trying to make a W here. They're trying to make streaming a lot more popular because, you know, that's something about Twitch. They've been super popular because of the whole streaming situation, right? Situation. But it, it, yeah, the YouTube, that's the whole point of Twitch. It's a streaming platform and that's why it's king over YouTube because YouTube's not just videos. It can also be live stream. But I feel like YouTube doesn't really promote the live streams as well as Twitch does. That's something I've actually been kind of thinking about recently is that I feel like Twitch really handles their, I guess, streamers a lot better than YouTube does. But to be honest with you, Twitch also only promotes the big streamers out there. So if you're someone who's starting out streaming on Twitch, you're not going to get any viewers because Twitch isn't going to promote your channel. So I can go on forever about that. But either way, that's a huge dent in Twitch platform, seeing these big streamers out there moving over to YouTube gaming. So it's really curious to see how the competitive scene is going to go between YouTube and Twitch uh, when it comes to the gaming scene. Of course, Twitch does have like those thoughts and people who lick ears or something like that. Apparently, that's a trend now. Oh my god, I, what the heck, or like pools, you know, like, or like hot tub streams, like what, I, oh my goodness, you guys, I don't know what's going on over there on Twitch, like I said, I don't really follow it, but I am definitely aware of those memes that uh, people have been say, saying on Twitter and stuff like that, either way. Tim the Tapman, Dr. Lupo, and Cloaksy are over at YouTube Gaming now, apparently. So this is going to be very interesting. I'm really curious to see how well their uh, careers are going to be going moving forward now that they're switching over to a different platform. Of course, stuff like this has always been a big deal, especially with like Ninja went back during his peak. And so, yeah, I, I just thought I'd just spread this information, let you guys know about the whole drama going on with Twitch and how they're not really handling the whole hate bot situation, hate raid bot situation. And so, so that's really all I have to say. I really don't like the situation. That sounds very ugly, and I'm really glad that I'm not part of the Twitch community just because it seems very toxic in some ways, uh, but sometimes I do wish I went over and streamed on Twitch, but like I said, I don't have very good internet, so I can't really stream anyway, but anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos every single day. And of course, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, you guys. I do have a link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and follow me on there. And make sure you comment below what you guys think about this situation. I'm really curious what you have to say. And I'll always reply to you if you guys have any questions. And of course, have a wonderful day. Thank you guys for much watching. And I shall catch you guys later.